Hello everyone, it's the Yak. Promo code Yak, Roback.com, promo code Yak. Two zips. Polos. Joggers. Say it. Hoodies. What about? What about them? Jogger shorts. Q zips. Q zips. Get the Q zips. Uh, use promo code Yak. Roback.com. 20% off your first purchase. Hey everyone. What up? Hey, big cat. Talking to a dead. I'm gonna sit. I, I'm gonna sit over here. Dead man. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad. GJ, I'm can you, for oh, that. You know, GJ, can it. you fix the camera so Mook and I aren't in big cat shot, please? GJ, can you make me glowing because I'm so toxic? Thank you. Just like a yellow, like a a, a green ninja turtle. <laughs> what a lot of our coworkers aren't getting is that you weren't joking at all. Oh, I was. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I won't watch another NFL game until I see. The yeah. Game. Yeah. <laughs> until you see a cream pie. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I should do I, I love that. Uh, Whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm radioactive. Fasoli loves Barstool so much he tweeted he'd fight every woman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was absurd. <laughs> shout out Fasoli. Shout out Greer. Those those guys were foxhole guys. Fasoli Wait, what did, Barstool did, Greer hates women. Did Fasoli really? <laughs> he was like, I'll fight anyone in Rough and Rowdy who's coming after Big Cat. Really? Someone out <laughs> oh, like, women. It's probably like it's all girls. Yeah. But Fasoli <laughs> texted me last night. He was nervous. He was like, should I have not have like, said that? Like, I didn't think it would imply that I was fighting women. <laughs> and I was like, Fasoli, don't worry, man. You're fine. Yeah, just be like, no, listen, Fasoli. The Swifties don't take anything literal, so you're fine. Is Fasoli Fasoli's here? totally fine. I want him to agree. Would he fight? <laughs> Could we have him fight three girls? <laughs> Three girls at once. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. So man. for the people who aren't on Twitter, yeah, I've you, been canceled. You're. Uh, you posted a podcast clip. I did. I did. And it was yeah. uh, a pretty. I actually was shocked that it it, it went as viral as it did. Uh, I actually yeah. think I know where it started. It was some. It took a while, right? Yeah, well, what it set like, it off? It was some. I saw initially it was some Vikings fans, dorks who were like. Like those, like you know, like weird blogger fans who were like, like they probably just hate that I don't like Kirk Cousins, which I actually kind of like Kirk Cousins now. Uh, so like that's funny in itself that this whole thing started on like a football beef, probably. Um, Maybe that's yeah. how you should apologize. You should just be like, for the record, I do like Kirk Cousins. Yeah, right. Like, if I, if I'm gonna <laughs> sorry if everyone anything that yeah. would be the only sorry if everyone misunderstood me. I do uh, like Kirk Cousins. <laughs> I, I now I don't. I can't sit here and be dumb and be like, I can't believe this. I got this response because I have been, you know, poking the bear, kicking the hornet's nest because I am a, I like chaos. I like to see chaos online. Uh, but yeah, I didn't think it was going to be this one. I did not think it was going to be this clip. This one shocked me. And uh, it got quote tweeted, I think, how many times is it quote tweeted? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's like 7,000 quote tweets or something. It's so good. <laughs> Meanwhile, PFT was the one who I demanded anal, and he's just been skating by. I was going to say, if this happened I mean, on the yak, I would have kept that going in a graphic detail. Yeah. I'd like to read all of them. Uh, so Publicly it's so. <laughs> sexual favors from the, one the one above wanted you to die. They wanted you to. Oh die. no! I've been getting I threats. The times. I've been yeah, getting threats on my life, on my family's life. Oh yeah, no, that that has been happening. Um, it is what Taylor would have wanted. Yeah. yeah. So it's a combo <laughs> of not just Swifties. It's crossed over. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, people workers. are going viral for quote tweeting you. Yeah, people who are just pissed that I would say this. Um, yeah, they're all. And none of them <laughs> And you were demanding, demanding. Uh, demanding. I was yeah. demanding. I was That's, demanding. That would be funny. First of all, ew. <laughs> uh wait a minute. Did that girl just ooh Taylor Swift? Oh, oh I like pervy podcast blob though. That's a great. That's funny. Yeah, <laughs> I, I wish I I'll be honest, if I could take anything back, I wish that my diet was going better. Yeah. Because it would have <laughs> been nice to have this clip be, you know, of a better angle. So uh yeah, it's been fun. I don't <laughs> Oh my god. Before you see who can say the dumbest shit. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, it is. It's it's pretty much everything that every like controversy we've ever gotten into is just when we cross over to a large group of people that take everything we say as literal fact with no sense of sarcasm, facetious, whatever. Uh, and then we get this, which is very fun. Are 
are they like an actual cult? Like, I don't know much about the Swifties, I mean, but people this are is calling for me to die. Like I said, they're calling for the end of my career. So I, I think that's these aren't the girls who go to the concerts. These are the online. These ones. are online they're anemic. Okay. Okay. They have a service dog. Yeah, they <laughs> they okay. only eat mac and cheese. They have extreme dietary restrictions. They're basically bed bound. <laughs> You? Uh, but they're great at Twitter, and they know uh, the online landscape well. So there's no no like fear of them mobilizing. I no, think they, I but think they're very. They, they of... could probably have hurt your feelings. Well, yeah, no, they've been yeah. trying to hurt my feelings. Yeah. Uh, a couple of them have landed. Uh, but yeah, I think in a weird twist, like Stephen Shea was fearing for his life in Philadelphia. I think I'm in way more danger. Way more yeah. danger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, way way more danger. Yeah. So yeah, and then my favorite one is the. Um, the people were like, everyone told me he was one of the good ones at Barstool. Ooh. Oh, Uh-oh. You said that. Wait, wait, the, you said that. <laughs> the, I saw one was like, how did they not let these two guys off when they did all the firing? Oh. <laughs> 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 how did they not, did they not get included? Oh. Are you going to be removed from the uh, I like Bar or I hate Barstool, but I like PNT? Yeah, I think I've been removed from that. Yeah, yeah. You're no longer on the list. Damn. on yeah. your promotion. Clem. It took yeah. a long time, yeah, but I think I'm officially, yeah, the good ones always makes me laugh. Yeah. You guys came up with that. Like, you, <laughs> yeah. I, I never said I was a good one. Damn. In fact, I'm a bad one. Damn. I'm a bad seed. <laughs> oh, man. What's the path forward? I think just uh, keep doing my job. Mm, I Are don't you, know. going to double it, down? <laughs> we were having, I was having a, a discussion with, uh, with Hank about, like, if Penn still owned us, would I have to release an apology? And it just made me laugh. Like, what would I even say in an apology? <laughs> I'm sorry for joking? What would that look like? Do you want to work through one right now? I apologize for joking? I don't even think that's an apology. No, you got to specifically apologize for what you said. I apologize for wanting to see a penis in a vagina. Yeah. Which, I apologize for sexualizing. For <laughs> I, apologize, I apologize for sexualizing a woman in her 30s. And man, that's, that. that is the funniest part about this is I very clearly said I wanted to see Travis Kelsey's penis. Yeah. yeah. Where's, the, where's the Kelsey? It's true. Yeah. Where's well, the Kelsey hop? I there? sexualized the fuck out of him. I think we all want to see his penis. Yeah, I think it'd be so much yeah. fun. I settled on hands. It'd be so much funnier if Kelsey yeah. fans were pissed at you right now. Yeah. 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 Shout out, there's one guy who's been defending me in my mentions. He just keeps on saying, like, to all these people, like, if you watch the whole clip, Big Cat said that he'd be fine with the over the pants hand job. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, if that's not class, I don't know what is. <laughs> it's like, he's not a terrorist. He's, he's, he's very clearly willing to work with them. Um, but yeah. I heard Hank talking to you this morning. He said you could always come out as gay. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's a good yes. call. I do think I should maybe, if it gets worse, maybe I should just be like, listen, I've heard everyone. And I'm gonna get a vasectomy so I can't procreate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like that will be that. Like basically a, a neutering. Was it worse last night or today? Is it getting worse as we go? It's I don't really know. It's kind of just like a, a brush fire just in my mentions that mm. but like football was going on. So I was watching I mean twenty seven million views isn't a brush fire. No, no, no. That's uh apocalyptic. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I just haven't really No, I don't I haven't really paid much attention to it. Like, I know it's there, but I'm not. Like, I, like last night when the football game was on, I was watching the football. Do you need Mincy to say the word again? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he will. All we got to do is put a camera on him. Uh, yeah, yeah, just have him go live. I might need Mincy to fuck Travis Kelsey. You've been trending longer than if you would have died. Yeah, probably. Probably. And now if I do die, I'll be trending for all the wrong reasons. Right. you like, remember okay. this guy? You just got to stay alive. And he said... <laughs> I really do think I'd rather see Travis Kelsey's dick than any part of him. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. We're going to get even uh, more. Oh, no. I, I'm ready to get in your hole. I don't no know comment. what. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Uh, I don't even know when this resolves. I don't, I've don't. i just been kind of giggling oh. to myself for the last 24 yeah. hours. That's all you can do. I yeah. can't believe this is happening. <laughs> has, yeah. has Kelsey ever been on PMT? Yeah, yeah. It's a great guest. So you could theoretically ask him for his dick. Right. I could. That could end all of this. Hey, listen, man. I'm in a little bit of a I need your dick. <laughs> need to see your cock. Don't ask any questions. <laughs> I'm going to need to see your piece. Hard cock. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love Mook's strategy of just saying... Taylor, I was joking. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't want to see Taylor. I'm not attracted at to yeah, her at all. I think she's yeah, ugly. Like <laughs> I, I'm just curious about Kelsey's. That's a, is repulsive. Yeah, that's a good way to you, dig you, yourself you, out of that hole. Make sure I'm not in the shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 solo on Kyle. 
I do. I think it will probably kick back up when we go to New York next week for Surviving Barstool, and I'll have to have a talk with Kelly Keegs. Is she mad at you? No, she was explaining the situation to me last night. She was like, <laughs> anything with sex and Taylor Swift is a no-go because she has been slut-shamed in the past, mm. which if you actually think about what I'm saying, I'm actually doing the reverse. You're, you're yeah. calling, where I'm, yeah, you're I'm saying she out. might be a virgin. Yeah. yeah, right, because it's like, unless so I see drugs. it. It's like dinosaurs. Do dinosaurs exist? I never saw them. You can't right. confirm. Like, yeah, yeah, right. Has Taylor Swift ever had sex? I don't know. I haven't seen it with my own two eyes. So you need to see a dinosaur dick and a dinosaur pussy. Right. To yeah. actually be like, yep, those guys existed. Yeah. So I'm actually on the, more on the side of Taylor Swift than the Swifties even. Everybody with. else might be a pig to see them holding hands and assume they're fucking. Right. Facts. I, I would never assume that. Mm-hmm. Anyone who Taylor Swift's ever been linked to because I have not seen it actually happen, I, I will not assume anything. Me and Brandon got lunch last Monday. Guess, are we fucking? Maybe. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) You have to see dick and ass. Actually, you might be. Yeah, you'd have to see, though. We'll see. You gotta see. You gotta see. I can see Brandon being like, I'm not gay. He's just my really good friend. Mm -hmm. And and guys have needs. Yeah. So we fuck every now and then. Sexual beings. Not a big deal. You and me. Is that why Brandon's been a little cranky? He hasn't gotten his fucking... Oh, couple days. I, no, I've been cranky. fucking him right. <laughs> no, that's not it at all. Okay. Have you been cranky? I've not been cranky. Did you guys see Stephen Chase seven seven year anniversaries today? Nope. <laughs> no, sure didn't. Same. Uh, I missed trying that. to take away your. Uh, wait, what's this one? It's not news. The media is particularly an unwarranted cruel to Taylor Swift, but the way men feel entitled to speak about women, mm. their bodies, oh. and their sex lives needs to be seriously evaluated. Mm-hmm. This is Ra- who's Rachel Ziegler. Huh. Give us. Counsel. Aren't all of these people talking like by being protective of her? Aren't they like owning her sex life as well? Like they're gatekeeping they, her pussy. They're yeah. Ga- yeah. Is that not? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. I'm trying to keep up with the logic of all. I just like perverted podcast blob, and that's yeah. really all. That's, I that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm. Uh, yeah. People are. Yeah. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Look at that. It looks Filipino. Yeah. When was this picture? It looks a different type of Asian, yeah. doesn't it? The shirt under the collared shirt never works like that. The white shirt under a button-up. He looks like he looks Asian. Hispanic. Asian, yeah. Asian Ronaldo. A little, Asian uh, Ronaldo. Lesbian. We, do we get a bingo board with Stephen Che in terms of... He's the Ariana Grande of the board. What was he hired initially to do? Ads. Ad ops. He was um, like the most... He was basically the traffic flow of ads. Like, you got to do these ads. Mm. Basically someone needs that job to just be annoying yeah and i mean that in like an endearing way like that if that job is done well you should be annoyed with that person because that means they're doing your their job of being like make sure you read this ad make sure you do this um and then yeah he slowly he slowly morphed into content uh, jay he found out so that i don't that i don't know when that picture was taken but so if he was hired seven years ago today he found out about barstool only three months before that, I I did uh, I was doing the hot dog eating competition for Fourth of July, and I called in to Mike and Mike. They asked me to call in, and Stephen Shea was a religious Mike and Mike listener, and he was like, "What is this thing <laughs> that's, that's other than ESPN?" Yeah, that that's makes that had to have so much it. goddamn <laughs> sense. Yeah. Other people talk about sports. Yeah, his yeah. whole world was like, yeah. "Oh my god!" He is absolutely a Mike and Mike listener. Oh, one hundred percent. Stephen Che is is every every ad you see on like commercials during football games, all the like football's family and all this stuff. It was all built for Stephen Che's brain. Can I point this out? So we just got a text from him just a second ago. Now he's got us all in the fantasy football league, right? Yeah. And if you play, if that's what you want to, call. if you play well, you win. If you play bad, you might have to drive to Vegas. Um, should be cut and dry, no problem. He just texted, quick point of clarity on fantasy. Bottom four teams will be competing in a loser's bracket in weeks 15 and 16. Seven will play 10, eight will play nine. The loser of that matchup will square off in week 16 with the loser of that game responsible for getting to Vegas. So while Kate is in the last now, me and KB's asses are in the jackpot too with only one win, whoever finishes seventh. Mm. That seems like a lot of explanation, doesn't mm-hmm. it? For a loser's bracket playoffs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we shouldn't have let him be in charge yeah. of the league. No. The loser's yeah. bracket is the worst, though. I'm in one league. Just means you don't have a kicker in this league. Yeah. Got it. So what is the point of a loser's bracket? To el- determine it. Yeah, I don't know why we wouldn't just have the last place finisher. I believe he explained it as so that there's, in case somebody is way out and last. He wants intrigue. Like, 
there's he, a reason to pay attention. And still. Kate doesn't pull up the rankings again. Kate has like the most points. Or she's fifth most points. Fifth yeah. most points. And she's 0-4, yeah. That is why fantasy sucks. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why we should have done the the rotisserie where it's just every week you just add points. Yeah. Instead of head to head. Who would be in last then? Why do Roan, Big Cat, and Sass all have 10X by their name? Why don't we just have a vote and say yeah, whoever what? has the least points, loot goes? Why don't we just vote Stephen Chay? the least Chay amount out? of points now. Yeah, why don't we just make Stephen Che walk to Vegas? I don't have the login for this. <laughs> oh, <it's- laughs> I don't think any of us yeah, do. No, it doesn't, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> he just reports back to us every now and then. Kyle, did you hit first touchdown again? I did. When? Last oh, night? Yeah, I made a pack of hot dogs. <laughs> A whole Wait, pack? What, a pack of hot dogs. Six francs. <laughs> Wait, who who scored first touchdown? DK. DK, yeah. I just and you, like I, Walker I was like, player. I've heard of him. I know he's athletic. Let me put money on him. What were the odds? Uh six. Oh, I bet. I made six hundred. <laughs> so I didn't bet that much. What was what was Sunday nights? Yesterday was a pack of hot dogs. Pacheco. Sunday. Pacheco. Yeah, it was Pacheco. Uh, it was a button up. Button up. Button down. Yeah. Button down. Yeah. But I don't know. Ten Benjamin. I'm not gonna get addicted to it. <laughs> you should probably. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you just. Uh, yeah. yeah. I like football now. I just love it. Even yeah, yesterday, it was, it was sloppy, and I thought it was fun. It was. It was very sloppy. And Drew Locke coming in, he should have stayed in because he's like the true fun. Anything can happen. Guy. Yeah. 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 I like this new Kyle. Football guy. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, it's it's probably the best sport. <laughs> that yeah. Have it's you been there. to a game? I saw the Jets versus the Packers. It was probably like when Pennington was playing. They needed the win to get to the playoffs and they, they won by forty. Nice. Forty four zero, I think. And then that's after that's that, that you took game. your hiatus. I took my hiatus in what it, the Sanchez playoff after that run, yeah. The Pennington's playoff. been a minute. Pennington's been a while ago. Nick, did you, game I've been. Did you end up tailgating for the Bears game on no, Sunday? No, I didn't. Oh, I came in. Yeah, I was going to ask how that went. No, no, Dude, I'm going to, it, going to NFL probably, games kind of stinks. Well, the the Bears, as long as it's nice out, they'll still be fun tailgates. Yeah. When the losing and the cold weather happen, that's yeah. when it starts to get. Cold. I'm going to the Vikings at Bears. I'll tailgate that one. Was that is that a Monday Next night game? Week? No. Oh. That's uh. Sunday. Yeah. Huh. I think I hope. Um, yeah, you're gonna tailgate on Saturday in Mizzou. That's right. That's right. I've been getting a lot of wrecks too. Really? Yeah. Somebody... That's an 11 a.m. game though. It's hard to, harder to tailgate though. It's gonna be a lot harder. Yeah. That those 11 a.m. games are more are fun to tailgate. No, but uh, well, you don't think the post game tailgate of one of those games is elite if you win. It might. Be, it will be fun for them because they're not college students. But when I was in college in the 11 a.m., it was always a battle of like I'm. St- you know when you're still drunk when you wake up? Yep. And then you yeah. have to have – and then that first beer is like, will I get more drunk or am I going to get sick? That's yeah. always a, like a then terrible – Then once you get past that hump, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You just keep it rolling. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited to check it out. I don't know much about Mizzou. You don't hear about them too often. Mm-hmm. They're 5-0. and Yeah, someone predicted that. Titus predicted that. Long. Yeah. Yep. Titus Mon- yep. No, 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 no. Give, no, no, no. Fuck that. Months ago in May, I'm the only person in America that said Mizzou was going to be five and zero. I said that. Roll the tape. That's what I. I mean, just you roll, didn't let's, say that. Let, but I'm, I'm saying roll. Let's see you say it. Roll the tape. I Jack Mac. Somebody get it. We don't have it. I don't guess we have it. I said it. Interesting. I was I, I said. Uh, I also said that. I said they'd be five and zero. I did. He I did. said I, remember. I said the Seahawks would win twenty four to three. Mm-hmm. I knew uh, you said that. Night, You're yeah. on LeBron shit. <laughs> <I like that. laughs> yeah. Bron's got all the wins. <laughs> hey, what is that. he doing? He's picking every late. game. He's now? picking every game. He think he went fourteen and two. Fourteen and two. Pretty good. But he yeah. also did a classic LeBron where he said, uh, "I think I'm thinking about picking all the." I think he said this on Saturday or maybe Sunday. He's like, "I'm thinking about picking all the games." I did pick the Lions over the Packers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So that's one. <laughs> so, so one okay. and oh. <laughs> And then I think he also might have said he went live at like maybe like 1130 and he'd already picked the Jaguars. Oh, okay. Uh, did you see the clip of him talking about how much he loved the 49ers? And he was just he, – he, his eyes are looking at the depth chart and he's no. just listing names. And he's, he's <laughs> just – Yeah. He's, he's just saying names out loud. Um, <laughs> he's just reading the roster. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. 
He's uh yeah, basketball media day is starting. Yeah. It's so weird yeah. when basketball comes. I love it. Early. I love I love when all the sports get going. October, together. October. Yeah. We got players. You a sports guy? Yeah. You a sports guy? Big sports guy. Oh, oh we should have said speaking of baseball, Kyle, you can wear your Triple Power jersey. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's huge, yeah. dude. I mean, it still has a giant Chief Wahoo on the shoulder. <laughs> mm-hmm. But you're back. Ba- the Bauer name is back. Saw the video. That's insane. Insane. Is Are we sure we're clear? We should wait a little bit. I think I, we should wait a little I, bit. I, I, I don't know. I just saw the video, and then I saw the Washington Post headline, which made me even more mad because they were like, the Washington Post wrote, uh... Trevor Bauer settles like suspended MLB former MLB star who was suspended for two years settles lawsuit with uh, alleged victim or something like that. It's like, yeah. did you watch the video? That's not what. No, he was set up. Yeah. It's crazy. Ooh. It's a crazy, crazy story. So can he like sue and get back salary or something? I don't know. I feel like what money? Who like where is the money? It's Did like, baseball suspend him? Like baseball losses. suspended yeah. him. Yeah. But, like, who's giving him the money? MLB. Okay. MLB? I guess. It's weird. None of the journos are reporting on it at all. It's very oh, quiet. Oh, they're reporting on me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they just leapfrog yeah, to the yeah. next yeah. <laughs> None of the baseball journos have said anything, which is, like, I don't know. Well, that, that tells me that there might out. be something more. Right. Is that what that tells you? Or you just don't want to, yeah. I think they just don't want to look they don't like they buried a guy for no reason. Yeah. A lot of deleted I'm not tweets be the first to do it in the middle of the night, you know, from when they were killing him, and then they just hope yeah. it goes away. Yeah, hmm. I, so it didn't help that nobody. I, he was a very well. No, that is not a lot of people true. liked him before. Correct. Yeah, yeah like, that's uh, a fair thing to say is that he was not well liked and maybe a dick to other people. That way, when shit hits the fan, uh, nobody was there to no stand in the gap. Back. Apparently, I only have Greer and Fasoli who have my back. I was asleep. I'm, I'm I'd rather have I don't Greer, like I'd rather have Greer and Fasoli than ten thousand men. It is funny that Dave's doing a double troll on everyone. Yeah, being like this yeah. is disgusting. He's like, I, I, I he loves men are the dis- most. Yeah, he's like yeah, men are disgusting, so and I'm, yeah. I am one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he's in his bag right now with the burner. Once the burner comes uh, out, yeah. so fucking funny. <laughs> Oh, um, all right. Well, what else we have to do? We have a book report today. Yeah, I was up pretty late and I came in early this morning, finished the book. Mm. You read the whole thing. I read the entire book. This hoe got roaches. This hoe has roaches in her crib. Mm-hmm. Um. By the way, also, we should say everyone go subscribe to Healthy Debate because Jetsy's getting a raise, which is pretty mm-hmm. fucking cool. They Subscri- just tased him on Barcelona Radio. They, they did. Tased him? They did it off camera, though, for some reason. Oh. Oh, because of YouTube, maybe? Would YouTube get mad about that? I would have done it on this channel. Um. Really? Yeah, it'd be funny. Should we put Taze on the wheel? Yeah. No. That's all. I'll go. <laughs> I'll go. Brand mouse mode if Taser comes out. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd rather get punched in the face. Yeah. Being, uh. being shocked is my least favorite sensation. Ever. You could do pepper spray if you don't want to get oh, tased, Brandon. That's probably we could, worse. We could just do pepper spray. I, Why yeah, can't we just put spray. nice things on the wheel? <laughs> what do we have hug? to kill each other? Get, just give each other a hug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, hugs Jason. on the wheel. We did compliment minute. That, that nice. counts. I'd rather do mousetrap than compliment. Uh, oh, yeah. dude. I, actually, can you spin the wheel right now? Because I really wanted to do a mousetrap again. Yeah. Well, there's one laying over there set if you want to go touch it. Just let's... Spin the wheel right now. Let's just see, because I just... If is one person getting snagged right now? Well, no, if it, if it lands on mousetrap. Yeah, let's just get the wheel out of the way. Yeah. It's going to land on wheel reset, and then it's going to land on mousetrap. Ooh, that would be special. We should put, like, fight the Swifties on the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just buzz them. Buzz the tower. Yeah, what, did, Nick, you told me, is Rachel... Oh, my God! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Oh, keep going! Yes, wow. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the, yes. That, the, the Snow White simulation. everybody hates. Rachel is, Ziegler is coming the Snow out. Oh, that's who yeah. it is. She's the, She's the one who tweeted. Yeah. Uh, She's the, uh, that's actually good to have her against you because then everybody knows that like she never said anything right. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, the, no, the original girl who came after you is the brain surgery survivor. Emily Sears, she had I brain think. surgery. That was in her bio. Oh. All right, not gonna be right, cat. Cat. Damn it! Wait, is this just this is the it, same wheel from yesterday? Is this yes, the, Mark. just footage from yesterday's yesterday show? From yesterday. <laughs> Damn it! 
Oh my god, it is. <laughs> no, it came down to me and him. Okay. No, it's not then. Oh man. Got the close up camera on you though, Brandon. You love that. Oh, this is Here you go, Brandon. So it's gonna fun. Oh no, no, never mind. Oh, I don't think leaving you off of the uh Yak studio graphic was intentional. I bet you they just pulled one of the No, that was definitely intentional. Oh, I don't no. that no. render was from months ago and was yeah. not done by anybody on this show. Well, how I've never not been on the logo. Yeah, you have. When when we unveiled Kate on the logo, we got took got rid of you instead of Owen on it. Oh, okay. Damn, oh, this, is, this is enjoyable. I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Your biggest fears. <sighs> uh, Fuck. Here we go, Brandon. Here we go, Brandon. Here we go. Here we go, I don't. I, every goddamn day, we're just going to do this. This is impossible. This is impossible. This is impossible. You survived oh, this. No, no way. Man, if you survive, oh, no. Wow. No. I ain't won nothing more. Hard. <laughs> well, nothing. <laughs> Brandon, you've got time, dude. Uh, tons of people come back from one nothing. Uh, and a lot of people come back from two. What's the fuck? Can we, we, we pause it and, and come yeah, back? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Get it over. 2-0. Oh. Oh. Let's, Let's down. go back at the end. Yeah, make it back. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. It's 2 nothing. You guys just played nothing. It's 2 nothing. You got to respect the wheel. It's 2 nothing. It's 2 nothing. There you okay, go. Brandon. There you go, Brandon. Got okay, luck. Brandon. You want to end on a hot streak right here? You want to want to go two one? Take a break. No, I don't yeah, want to take a break. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> break my fucking finger, and that way we're gonna <laughs> break your <laughs> finger. <laughs> Three break one. Break finger. your. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, here we go. It's not gonna break your finger. It's just gonna be really painful for a it's split not second. Hurt. It doesn't even. Just it's kind of a. It's just a little thing. scary. You just gotta hit it at the right spot, and it won't hurt at all. But it's not even over yet. See. See, there you go, Brandon. There Stop. you go. There you go. Three, two. Three, two, Brandon. Come on, Brandon. See? You got this, Brandon. Oh, oh damn. damn. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Tried for the comeback. Wait, 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 wait. Not wait. <laughs> Let me fucking do it. Yeah. Wait, we <laughs> then do it. You are allowed to do it. Do let it. Your fingers go. Oh, you gotta. You gotta. You gotta walk the mouse. Walk the mouse. No, I don't. You want gotta. To no, let, 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 let's watch it. A little mouse. Let, wait, wait, wait. Get the camera. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. okay. I don't want to do that. Right, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. I'll do it. It happened to land on it. I'm going to do it. Get, stay back. <laughs> <laughs> move it up on the move it up on the table. I don't want to do it at all, at all. I'll do it for you. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it later. Let's just do it later. Do it later. You got to do it. Here comes the mouse. It doesn't hurt, Brandon. No. It doesn't hurt. No, it's a this sting. Is... It's a real quick sting. I did it. I I snagged myself I'm earlier. Just talking to you. <laughs> oh, no. Brandon's become a Swifty. <laughs> little, here, <laughs> here comes a little mouse. Get the side. Get the meat of your hand. Take the cheese. <laughs> Here comes the little mousy. Ooh, oh, 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 mousy mouse. You just gotta avoid the center of mousey the finger. Mousy mouse. <laughs> back up, back up, back up. It's not even set right. It's not even gonna go. Here, hold on. Here comes the mouse. The <laughs> trap expert Titus. Yeah, here we go. I will do it for you. You won't, because then you're just going to put it on the wheel tomorrow, and it's not going to be funny tomorrow. We're just going to do it. So let me just get it over with. Here comes the mouse. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Brandon, Ooh, the mouse. I've, com I've complained about anxiety issues for four days, and y'all can get your fucking ass out. <laughs> this is going to get you over the fear, man. Yeah, that will. Oh, the mousey. Oh. No, no, you just Ooh, put the cheese down. Push. The don't, don't do knuckle. What are you yeah. doing? <laughs> knuckle. <laughs> knuckle. Knuckle is hurt. irreversible. Knuckle will hurt. <laughs> Get like the meatiest part of your hand. Hey, wait, wait, Brandon. Before we do it, let's do this. How about we get a thousand subscribers yeah. to mostly sports before we do it? How about we get a thousand subscribers yeah. to mostly sports before we do Brandon, it? Brandon, 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 oh. Brandon. Listen to. Whoa, 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 whoa! You don't, don't care. Help. You don't care about the subscribers? 
Hold on, Brandon, step away. Let's talk this out. Let's talk this out. Let's, I know we're going to talk this out. There's only one thing going on. Deep breaths. On. It's, You're overwhelmed. It's, it's you versus you. It's, it's the cheese. Here comes the little mouse. Me my hand. I can do the meat in my hand. The yeah, but you got to do. But you got to pretend you're a mouse. First. You got to. You got to walk with your finger. Little mousey. Here comes little mousey. Oh, oh. oh. yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, it was nothing. Was it bad? Little mouse. It is your fear. Uh, hey, your fear's gone. No, take it off the wheel. It's not funny anymore. We can take your name off of it. I don't want to take my name. I want to be. <laughs> well, now Hold on. A conundrum. Oh, You're good. Boy. Breathe. Drink some water. Plug, hold your nose and drink some of that. <laughs> so you don't like the taste. Nick, blow his back out. I'll fuck you hard. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I will destroy you. That's All the right. most attractive Brandon's ever looked. Okay. Yeah. Acing his fears. Okay. See, so you did it, man. <sighs> you good? So what else is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on? What you guys have a wheel on Mostly Sports? We have a bat. We have a hat. You we should ah, we, we should. We no. should. Yeah, TJ. We should just put mouse traps. We're not putting mouse traps in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the only way you're gonna get over it. I don't need to get. Why would I need to get over a fear well, of mouse traps? Oh, you think this is a good way to go through life? Is that you see a mouse trap and you fucking break the microphone, throw it across the room, start we're screaming, turning Brandon into a mouse where he just comes in every day and he's like, "Where the fuck are the traps?" <laughs> it's exposure therapy, Brandon. This yeah. is good for you. You're Stuart Little or whatever. It yeah. probably would help if we put an actual piece of cheese on the trap. Yeah, <laughs> maybe some bologna. Get, get some bologna. Yeah. Said bologna. Yeah. 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 A little bologna. Yeah. Ooh, what's this bologna? See, here? Like you're giggling. You knew it didn't hurt. Yeah, that was fine. It was yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah, I'm proud of you. I wouldn't Aww. make you do something that would hurt. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. What have I ever done that made you hurt? Emotionally or psychologically or what? Uh, physically. Um, I don't know. Yeah. We Yuck were slapping basketball? each other pretty yeah. hard. Mm. Hurt. Oh, yeah, we were. Remember that oh, phase? Yeah, we hit each other really hard. hard. Kyle slapped the fucking shit out of me. Yeah, he did. Uh, I took some some palms. Dana, like, was it Dana who ended? No. Ryan Dana. You ended, you hit Dana really. No, um, no Dana Owen? ended me. I think I hit Roan and then Dana... Oh yeah, that's right. You hit my like the whole side of my ear and shit. You did. You did a, a Beethoven's dad on me. So what? All right. Yeah, you can't read. The, yeah. <laughs> you, no use for you to go to that. How are everyone's erotic short stories coming? Pretty good. Bad. It's hard. But Very I now hard. have new inspiration, which is nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a famous person. In my chance. Oh, yeah. oh no. Yeah. <laughs> We're all going to get canceled. <laughs> Our names are going to be on the book. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, what if I just wrote the most grotesque thing ever and brought you guys all down to my level? Oh, my God. Yeah. Nick, why don't you do the ad? We'll reset. Yeah, 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 we'll reset. Time to load up on the ice and break out the oversized lawn games because High Noon Game Day Pack is back. Mook, what's your favorite oversized lawn game? Uh, The bags. Uh, I forget what they're called. It was a regular size, man. Oh, oversized. I'm not doesn't sure. matter. Doesn't yeah. matter. As long as you got a high noon in your hand. Includes limited edition fan faves, pear, cranberry, along with black cherry and grapefruit, made with real vodka, real juice, 100 calories, gluten-free, and no added sugar. The High Noon Game Day Pack is a fall exclusive, which means it's here for a good time, not a long time. Visit highnoonspirits.com before your next tailgate pack. Uh, for, for your next tailgate and find a pack near you. High Noon. Highnoonspirits.com. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious high noon. Uh, do you want to do your book report because you actually worked on it? Yeah, I mean, I just did bullet point. I don't want to do any spoilers. Okay. Um, How problematic is this book report? So I went, not, no, it's not Or the book. The book is, um, yeah. if it, I was going into it thinking this would be a racist comedy. Okay. Mm. Turns out it's a racist tragedy. Oh. oh, damn it. It's one of the saddest books I've ever read in my life. Oh, no. Um, things I learned. Uh, I had to Google a lot of things. Can a white person say this? <laughs> I almost slipped up twice in this book report. Okay, so wait, wait, say the name of the book again for the people at home. This hoe has roaches in her crib by Quan Mills. Okay. Um, I just have bullet points as I read. The prison system's overflowing. Flowing. Court system's slow. If you're in for a nonviolent crime, chances are you'll stay in Cook County, baby. Uh, real trap shit. Um, <laughs> I was, that was just, a word you could say. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. There's t yeah. Uh, there's a shocking amount of child abuse in this book. Oh, my God. Uh, two kids die. Oh, what? And a 12-year-old gets his babysitter pregnant. 
What oh the fuck? Uh, no. Low key dope boys don't mind fucking the same girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, at the same time, or that, and they don't care if the pussy stink as long as they get a taste. Mm -hmm. uh, old men love eating the groceries. <laughs> this, the I groceries think... means asshole. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Like groceries. <laughs> um, now it's time for some trivia. I will ask you guys a question. Okay. You yeah. have to say it's from this ho has roaches in her crib or if it's from Lord of the Rings. Okay. <laughs> uh, the main characters, ride or die besties, are Taikisha and Antoinette. <laughs> Dude, guess the cat could, who gets That's to go? just ho got roaches. That's that ho got roaches. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, one of these books has the item. Had for hang the sword of Arwen. That's uh, Lord of the Rings. That's, That's Lord, Lord of the, of the Rings. Rings. Huh? All right. Which book has Elrond? And here's a hint. He's half. <laughs> he's half. <laughs> Elrond. Elrond. I think it's uh, that, might <laughs> that might be Quan. That might be Q. Is that Lord of the Rings? I'm going Lord. That's Lord, Lord, of, the Lord, of, the Lord, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's half elf. Yeah. Uh, he's wow. <laughs> Your mind is, come on. All right. Quamani and his brother Zanir. <laughs> That's that's Quan. <laughs> I think I stand with the people who tried to cancel. Yeah. The uh, there's a big uh, yeah. fight over jewelry. That's Lord both. of the Rings. That's, that's both. That's both. We have the humans versus Sauron's army, and then we have Quintasia versus Tatiana. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, for anybody who wants to read it, uh, first of all, don't. <laughs> and then f uh, now I'm about to give a spoiler. Uh, it's about this this trifling ass mom <laughs> and she's awful. She likes her two sons. She doesn't like Maya, her daughter. Oh, no. This whole time Maya's dad is in prison. Mm. He's about to get out. She goes to the father daughter dance at prison. You're you're like, okay. He's gonna save her from this this disgusting home. Yeah. Ski, yeah. And uh he's about to get out in a day and before he gets to see his daughter, the daughter collapses and she gets a bacterial meningitis and dies. <laughs> oh my god! And then he finds out he was never the daddy. Oh, oh, oh shit! Ooh. But then he gets ten million dollars. <laughs> oh, from what? Um, so the trifling ass hoe, she sues the doctor who couldn't, who did this experimental surgery on the daughter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um. Then uh, they're celebrating in the court, the whole family, because they didn't really care about the daughter. And mm -hmm. he's breaking down crying. And then the social worker comes and like was like, he was not the biological dad, but he loved her. And then he gets 10 mil. And then he went oh. and killed the hoe. Dude, the, oh, are oh, these yeah. like... Killed the hoe? Yeah, he killed the hoe. And the roaches? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah well, where, the where are the roaches? The roaches yeah. are what... A roach bite killed the girl. Oh, it can roach bacterial make... meningitis. Well, I oh thought it was just. God. Is, does he just like abruptly get into these plot points, or did that, does it flow smoothly? Like it is twists work. It, no, okay, no, it's just abrupt. But it keeps on adding characters, and then like, um, I yeah. Read this now book. let me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you this, Nick. Was the book woke? Would you say? <laughs> um, <laughs> there were no white characters, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty fucking woke. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty woke. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a book! Good job, Nick. Thank you. Yeah. Followed through, Kyle. You're up. Um, what you doing, Kyle? I didn't read it. <laughs> you didn't oh, even get it. I didn't get it. It didn't come in the mail yet. Okay, so to be continued. Are you yeah, I'll get her up. Okay, yeah. you... I'm looking what she's. You're looking oh up my god, Sandy. Her home office is crazy. She is. She's wealthy. Well, yeah, she's a best-selling book author. She's probably. Yeah. Cashing in. I'll read it. Um, Brandon, have you calmed down from the mousetrap? I have calmed down. I'm, yeah. I'm very calm. Very calm right now. Why? What's up? I'm just thinking that maybe we got to get some fake snakes in here. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like the trend of this show. Maybe Nikki Smoke should prank you. you, should, you should, oh, is that? Yeah, that's been Nikki squared Smoke away. Today? Oh, can we watch his video? What do you do? He forgot to turn on the mic for his man on the street. It's oh silent. my god! <laughs> That's right. Oh yeah. That's right. <laughs> yes. Oh no. It's, and I told him, he texted me, and he was like, "Man, I fucked up." And I was like, "No, you didn't. This should be your thing." Yeah. Is yeah. silent man on the streets. <laughs> you can't hear anything. Not a word. So I think he put music over it. But the one he sent me, dead quiet. <laughs> <laughs> not even you. No, not a sound. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. This is a definitely best case scenario. <laughs> I'm I'm really starting to love Nikki Smoke. It's oh about, wait, uh, can we watch his uh, 9/11 wing the review? Food review where he was oh. like, never in my life will I ever pull my phone out and review some fucking food at a place. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, he's like, I know I have to make content, but I don't give a fucking ever. shit. Have you I seen, seen it? No. 9/11 Tavern had me in tears. I just uh What's the name of it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or is it 911? No, no, it's, it's the 911 Tavern. Yeah. <laughs> my microphone's dead, so I really don't All right, we're outside of 911 fucking Tavern. My microphone's <laughs> dead. So I really don't give a Maybe fuck. his mic should I be. I already off. ate the fucking wings. I know I'm supposed to do content and shit, but never in my life would I ever be belly up at a fucking bar and pull out my camera to do a fucking food review. I'm not a fucking square, but the wings were fucking fire. <laughs> not bar bill, but they were very good. I'm going to give them an 8.7. The fries, though. The fries, though. <laughs> them things are busting. 10 out of 10 fries. Best fries I've ever had Wait. in my entire life. So 9-11, Tavern. Wings, 8.7. Fries, 10 out of 10. Don't ever be a fucking square. If you make content for a living, great. Do your fucking thing. The bar is for the fucking boys. Don't pull out your cell phone like a fucking weasel rat. Who is he talking bar. to? I don't what? Know. Yeah. what? I recommend. He's Why is he so aggressive? Yeah, I'm what? like, Food really don't want to ever do like, this. If now. you do content for a living, that's fine. But he does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just shit on his own job and, like, the thing that is, like, Dave is best known for. Yeah, but is he talking about Dave? I don't know. Yeah, but he doesn't give a fucking Balls? fucking shit at all. No, you know? he doesn't give a fuck give a fuck about awesome, content dude. it's the best he's the man yeah. so that yeah so i think food reviews where you don't see the food and it, or the restaurant never see the food and silent man on the street <laughs> i want this i want yeah. the series sold he's like got anti-comedy down so it's perfectly. so good yeah. but he's not doing it on purpose he's he's actually feeling this. yeah like you're a fucking loser if you do a food review. <laughs> so so aggressive. Yeah. So no, like I'm at the sweat. nine fucking eleven tap. Your job is to make content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Where is he? He's not here today. Uh, he booked the wrong flight home apparently. <laughs> He's still in. He's at the airport in Buffalo. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. It's Tuesday. I just forty eight hours ago. Yeah, yeah, Sunday. Sunday. You want to give him a call? Yeah. <sighs> Give him a what? Call. Well, I don't know if we should put him on live, Mike. No, just let him know. Call him. Nah, he might answer the phone with something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he might answer it something problematic. What's good, you sexy beast? <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, it's Big Cat. You're live on the oh, act. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're still sexy too. Well, we're we're not friends right now. You ended our friendship. Uh question about the food uh review that you did where we didn't get to see any of the food. Oh, that was only one of them. You have another one? Yeah, I did like three of them. But do we get Before. to see the food? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, I, uh, wait, you're belly up at the yeah, bar. Just, yeah, just, the 911 one. It's because I was like the only person there at the bar belly up, and it was just me and this old bartender, and they only took cash. So I feel like if I took my video, <laughs> they'd kick me out. Why would they have kicked you out? <laughs> I don't know. They they only take cash. Like, I, I don't. I, just, what? <laughs> yeah, so I you get give it. them cash. <laughs> No, I know I gave them cash, but like, if they're only taking cash in 2023, like, they probably don't fuck with like people that have cell phones and shit. <laughs> yeah, your brain yeah, is well, fascinating, yeah, wow. dude. You got a fascinating, a crazy fascinating detour. Brain. I mean, yeah, dude, I grew up in Miami. Like, it's it's been fucked like since I was 14. So, what happened when you were 14? Oh no! I well, know. if you read the blog I wrote about you today, I was basically just telling everyone that I jumped off the porch at 14. So. When kids were playing two-hand touch flag football in the street, like I was at the club fucking doing drugs and drinking and trying to get bitches. Wait, so. what does that have to do with jumping off the porch? Who's trying okay, to get this, Wait, jumping but this is all... Oh, jumping, jumping off the off. porch metaphorically. I thought you actually jumped yeah. off the porch and, like, your brain got Stupid. fucked that up. That wouldn't hurt. No, but I mean... I thought it was it brain did. Yeah. It did. All right. I, I have had a concussion. Wait, so why is that have to... <laughs> 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 why? Why does that have to do with... You ending our friendship? No, yeah, this I has mean, to do with I, why I didn't review the wings in the bar. I thought, you, I thought we were good. Like I thought I just have to please Jerry now. No, no, I'm with Jerry. I stand with Jerry. You got to do more than that. You call us rat weasels. 
It's it's weasel rats, big cat. Okay, Come weasel on. rats. Yeah, so weasel either way, J- Jerry is the one. I go with whatever Jerry decides. You have to do whatever Jerry wants to get back our friendship. Would a silent uh, man on the street so in the airport the help 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 Tables things? Turn. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, what about well, doing this? I texted you guys. I said, look, this is the perfect hazing opportunity. You guys could come up with any haze, haze idea. Yeah, you you haze me I now. don't want to haze you. Do you want to be hazed? I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I feel like okay. it'd be easier than whatever else you guys would ask me to do. Well, you can't. I, I don't know. Like, I don't have a creative bone in my body. Like, <laughs> well, no, you did the review where we didn't get to see the food. That was creative. You're I've never seen one yeah. like that. That was creative. I, I think you. A picture of it, though. I think you got to do. You got to do exactly what I remember when we sat down and talked like your first month, and I was like, just do, do you. Yes. Nikki smokes, just without trying to do anything too hard, is comedy. Like you did a food review without the food. <laughs> you did a man on the street without a mic working. That's fucking <laughs> funny. Those are funny things. And where is he now? Where are you right now? I'm waiting for my eighty-five dollar Uber to pick me up to go to the airport. What? It's Tuesday. I, I know I booked the wrong fucking date. <laughs> <laughs> See you again. Nine Just fucking be eleven, you. man. Yeah. Uh, Nine fucking eleven. All right. Uh, well, what are you saying? Smokes. What's the worst offense? Betting against the Dolphins or taking a picture of your food at a bar? I didn't hear it. I heard bet against the Dolphins or what? Or taking a picture of your food at a bar. What's worse? What's worse? Betting on them or betting against? Against them. betting against them. them. I mean, betting against them just makes you a scum fuck in my eyes. Yeah, well, but how so is taking a picture of your food at a bar? Yeah. Right? Like, you don't have to bet the Dolphins every time. I just thought me, you, and Jerry, like, we had something special. Going. But I was correct. Yeah, and that that's fine. I just I wanted, like, a courtesy text. Like, hey, Smokes, I know you're going to the game. I know how much this means to you. Like, I'm slamming the bills. I would have been like, all right, fine. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. I turn on advisors and like I'm getting dragged and Jerry's like, yeah, fuck that kid. Like the Dolphins fucking suck. Like that hurt me. I it it wasn't person. I wasn't thinking of you. No, oh, I, I well you brought me up when when you dropped the pick, so I, I took it personally. When did I drop? When did I bring you up when I dropped the pick? On Barstool Sports. Oh, okay, you, maybe like, I did. Oh, yeah. Nikki Smokes and Frank the Tank are buying their ticket to Vegas. Oh that. yeah, Those yeah. Yeah, you guys did talk about that in front of me. You said, yeah, Frank, I'm let's buy our tickets that. right now. <laughs> that, that's what Dolphin fans do in September. We talk about Super Bowls. Did you hear uh, uh, Nick helps us with boomers on Sundays? Did you hear the great line in, in a PMT? No, I didn't. All right, I'll read it. Hold on. Nick, do you remember it? Uh, the, wa- the, 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 uh, dolphins waste, the, the Bills wasted the Dolphins. Speaking of wasted Bills. Yeah. Smokes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, here it is. Yeah, we start in Western New York where the Bills wasted the Dolphins. Speaking of wasted Bills, my former friend Nikki Smokes makes a hundred thousand dollars a year. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? That was fucking great. Yeah. Okay. All right. I listen. I, my even though we're not friends, I'm buying Nikki Smokes stock right now. I have it all. You are. I have, I have it all. Yeah. You are an unintentionally hilarious dude. I'll take that. You hear that, Mook? He's buying my stock, so I'm buying a fucking cable this Saturday, and you better be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the stock doesn't... It's not actual money. It do, it's not actual money, but, uh, Nikki. <laughs> no, I know, but it could lead to more money. Yeah. So I'm going to celebrate. Oh, so we're celebrating. Okay, all right, celebrating the fact that I've I've put a buy order on Nikki Smokes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That, like, that's definitely cause for at least two bottles, minimum. Two bottles. Yeah, two Nikki's, bottles. Yeah. Nikki Smokes is the type of dude, like, if he started a, a, a startup... And you're like, we're investing ten million dollars. You just take the ten million dollars. Yeah, you like now what? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, maybe another, uh, maybe another man on the street in the airport. No mic. No mic. I mean, Nick came up with the greatest idea ever, and I think I'm just gonna say the most outlandish shit to people with the mic off and just get their reaction. You just see the reaction. I like that, yeah. but that definitely also sounds like. You're going to accidentally put your mic on. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you try to put your mic on and you didn't, oh, if you try not to put your mic on, the Nikki Smokes corollary here, you would put it on and then you'd say fucked up shit. Yeah, and then I'd get canceled. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Well, I don't want to be like men's. safe flight, man. We'll see you. Uh, you know, it's like the Oregon Trail getting back here. <laughs> yeah, see you I'll on see Thursday. You tomorrow. Oh, okay. Tomorrow. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Better beast. <laughs> it's, it's Nikki Smokes. I, I, I'm. I'm. I, he's, phenomenal he's, phone call. Yeah, what? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. What a hit rate. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh I fell off the porch.
I'm surprised it, you're not beefing with him over wing nuts. I I said it when I saw it. Like, Nikki Smokes reviewing food. If he says something's bad, that that you know it's good. He is just a he's the opposite man. Yeah. I love Whatever. How, yeah. Like, we're like, hey man, why didn't you film in the bar? And he was like. Since I was 14 in Miami, I've been going to Columbus. <laughs> yeah, been to Columbus. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> oh. They, take cash. they take cash. They that's take why. The cash thing. That, that, <laughs> log- that logical reroute was. I'm so in. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so in. He is. He's got. He's got the perfect amount of unintentional. He and Mincy are gonna have a battle royale for unintentional. Oh game. yeah. Speaking of, I've been. Yeah, I know. What is he up to? He's coming soon. No, is he? Is he moving? He's doing one more tour. Mm-hmm. When, when, do, tour. when does Mincy get rehired here? Because I heard we were going to rehire him. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. When does he start? When's his first day? He, uh, yeah, he did. Yeah. He, he <laughs> yeah. has another tour coming up? He, that's what he told me. I did love that he did an a emergency press conference to tell people he wasn't going to a widespread panic show. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Four states so away, yeah. That he yeah. Was. Um, yeah, so he's he's got some games. I mean, he went to Old Miss LSU. He was in Chicago for two days. He came to the office for one. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the other day, he had to look at an apartment. Hogs yeah. for the cause is on the horizon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. When is yeah, that? That's, that's it's only six right. months away. Seven months away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hogs for the cause was. I mean, I just remember Mincy just getting so, like, he was just sitting at Hogs for the cause. He's like, I can't believe I got Big Cat and Dave to come to Hogs for the cause. I was like. Mincy, the final four is here. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were four minutes away. <laughs> um, did he have a breakup with Rick Watch? I think in his last few posts, no. Oh watch. no. Oh. oh no. Are you snitching on Daddy? Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> oh no, I hope he didn't. I just want to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Oh. He probably sold the watch right off his own wrist. Oh oh naked oh. wrist. Oh. What is this review he's doing? Does it matter? Sports fans in Nirvana 21 over in the last 24 years. Everything in my entire life came full circle this weekend, and I just want to thank Lane Kiffin, Jackson Dart, the Ole Miss offensive how? line for playing the game of their life after all the heat how? they were under. Go ahead, Trey Brandon. Harris, Jordan Watkins, Quinson Junkins, Go off. Billy, one of the greatest. Does he think they won that game for him? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh-huh. You don't? Certainly. Me storming the field last night. Oh, that's, oh, that's the running. video of New York. Yeah, I can't wait to see. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, that Jackson Dart video got me fired up though. Which one was that? Dancing, when they were uh, doing the sexy red uh-huh. post game. Ski. No. Who is Jackson Dart? Quarterback, quarterback for, uh, for Ole Miss. Oh, yeah. Great quarterback name. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. It's incredible. He was at USC before. Yeah, are you? I'm excited for Mincy to get in here. I, I mean, should temper that excitement. It could be months. It could be months. Could be a while. Depends on what widespread panic tour is looking like. Live studio audience for Wake Up Mincy. Yes, yes, that will happen, and that will be incredible. What's he doing here? He has a watch here. Oh, he definitely flung it Did off. Did he lose his watch? <laughs> yeah, he shot <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, he we got to fight it. Can we call Mincy and figure out what happened to the watch? What is he singing? The oh. stupid nursery rhyme they do. I like the end, though. That was swaggy. All right, that's enough. That's enough. He was getting ready to cut it like five yeah. seconds before that, yeah, though. The video was too long. <laughs> Oh my God! Cut it. <laughs> He's the best. He is the uh, best. He, but now we have another toy. Another contender. <laughs> we have another little toy uh, in the oh. chest. They, could, they couldn't be more opposite. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're just gonna collect all these toys and just play with them every day. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be more excited. We also, I like, I'm, I'm waiting to get in the new office because I feel like that's gonna be White Sox Dave's time to shine too. Him doing random challenges. Yeah, he needs that. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I. I want. I want like a live journal of your trip with him this weekend, Nick. Oh yeah. 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 It's gonna start with a five and a half hour car ride. Who's driving? Yeah. Uh, Chief, I think is. What is, type of car? I don't know. That's very important. Yeah. 
White Sox Dave scares me because I feel like if I look him in the eyes, like his wires will get crossed and he'll just like freak out. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you gonna ride shotgun or are you gonna let Dave No, no, I'm not gonna take shotgun. I'm a guest on this trip. These guys do these, I'm gonna I'll sit in the very back. Well, you're like a Where's, foot taller than What are they doing right Dave. now? Are they in... I think they're doing mid show, prepping for mid show. Oh yeah, yeah they're well, talking about We haven't had him on in a in a while. Conrad or Chief? Or Dave? Dave. Yeah, what do you want? Is he in there? Is Dave in there? If they're all in there. I want to talk to him. Hmm. No, I'm excited, though. Yeah. I think I want to buy a unicycle and a pogo stick for the new office. And yeah. just Whoa. put them in the, and then just put them, like, in the middle of the gym and just see what happens. I so, like that see, idea. Just, just, lay, just lay him in the middle of the gym and just step back and see... Nikki smokes, picks it, picks it up, oh, and yeah, starts. Yeah, goes first. Yeah, I do think we Dave. should do some roller derby. Yeah, full full contact. I'm in. Yeah, I, I like. It's it's finding that nice balance of like we're not gonna be dude perfect. I want to be like jackass. Yeah, with like mm -hmm. a bad dude perfect. What up, Dave? We miss everything. Dave, your trip this weekend. Also, are you a Nikki Smokes fan? Uh, within wow. the borders of this office, yes. Okay. Outside it, absolutely not. Okay. What does okay. that mean? That's actually that a fair mean? answer. No, but uh, no, I never ever want to like be with the kid on a social level at all. <laughs> <laughs> I do like him. It's and not too dissimilar to Brandon and I's relationship. Yeah, yeah. No, that's actually a completely yeah. fair answer because I'm the same. I don't. Yeah. I'm not going to go out and get bottles with... You have that answer about pretty much everybody here, though. No, I'd go out with you. Oh, uh, well. Yeah. We go out. All right. Is that it? Uh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, so the trip. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Sorry. Are you busy? <laughs> no, no. Who's driving? Uh, uh, Probably Chief. What kind of car? I would imagine a big-ass SUV. Oh, he's renting. Yeah, we're renting. Oh, okay. All right, so that's good. So you got that. I didn't invite myself on this, did I? I think no, it's kind of like an open invite. We just invited Megan too. Okay. What kind of content we making? Go and fucking do things. Yeah. Hell oh wow. Hell That's yeah. Good stuff. The best. Good I've shit. Been it's good yeah. shit. Some stuff. No, I I understand. Like you said that yesterday, and it blew my mind. <laughs> yeah. As like the three of us just go and do things. Like yeah. we don't necessarily, you know, script what good we're ideas. about to do. Yeah. Ideas. Well, I mean, we have like you know mental yeah. bullet points and. Have you tried Thoughts? that? Like, or do you? you <laughs> no, that'll yeah. start like that'll that'll start. Like, yeah. Have you had a thought today? <laughs> um, on this trip, no. Okay. Not really. I like that'll that. that'll start when we get to Columbia. Yeah. I'll start thinking of things. Are you guys gonna party? You, I think uh, you have to. We right? didn't really last when we went to. Why wouldn't you? Colorado. Colorado. Why yeah. wouldn't we? Party? I mean, we did a little bit because we were at Proper Twelve, but. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little party. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna party. Okay, all right. It's 11 a.m. kickoff. I know. What? That, I'm born bred in the East Lot. No, I, Ryan we, Field. No, I listen. I was saying that the 11 a.m. shouldn't be a problem if you college students is a problem. I understand that. Yeah, because I'll, I'll be I'll be up at 7 a.m. Yeah, ready to go. Fuck yeah, Nick. You got to I don't. Yep. Want, I want yep. you awake whenever well, White Sox stays awake. Are y'all driving back after the game? Sunday. Okay. Morning. No, Monday morning, I think. Monday morning. What yeah. are you doing there Sunday? I'm not positive. I'm pretty sure we're driving back Monday, though. Ed's got... <laughs> Nick. The Nick thing is going. just going to stay in <laughs> Columbia, <laughs> Missouri? <laughs> I, I, I could be incorrect there. Why would we... What are you going to do? have a rental car. Why would we stay in it? I was of the impression we were coming back Monday. I could be incorrect there. What are you going to do in Columbia, Why? Missouri on a Sunday? Ed had this idea he said let's go to columbia for mizzou lsu we'll get a bunch of stuff down there and i'm like yeah, you know what they'll probably do on week. sunday Long is week. thanks yeah we're just gonna do, do some things, things. We'll just gonna go and do some things remind everyone uh, we're, we're gonna I, I reached out we're gonna try to get into the rec center it's a rec center that has a lazy river oh okay um so if anybody else the deuce pub picklemans and then um the wrestling facility? The wrestling facility. Yeah. Will you remind everyone right. that we're streaming Thursday night here? We're streaming Thursday night. No, no, no all here. Eddie and Chief <laughs> Yeah. for the Bears. I will remind yes, people that, yes. going to the game, but we'll stream here. You guys should bring Nikki Smokes this weekend. Absolutely not. Eight hours, and I'd rather, like, if you gave me the Eight choice hours. between taking a shot in the face 
like getting shot in the face with a gun. Gun? Or riding in a car with Nikki Smokes for eight hours. I'm opting for death a thousand times out of a thousand. He won't won't be back by the time they leave anyway. Yeah, yeah. that's true. But wait, (laughs) when when does he get back? I saw you record a video without audio. That was good. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was. It was all been damn good. Yeah. All right. Um, why don't we just go right now, man? <laughs> I got nothing going on. <laughs> Let's hit the road. Yeah. Road. How many miles away is it? It's like six. Columbia. Hours. Good at this. I'm gonna say five fifteen. Five fifteen from Chicago. I think it's. And little, is it seems a little little culturally much? Culturally, the south. The I'm saying four twenty. Or the Rust Belt. I'm sorry. What what is it culturally? Is that the South or the Midwest? I would consider it like the Ozarks ish, but I don't Columbia, know. Columbia, Missouri is six hours in the car. How many miles? Three hundred ninety one. Three ninety one. That's were, not bad at I, all. No, that was he horrible. Usually, for me. He nails it. That was yeah, fucking yeah. Let's give him another one. <laughs> Random one. Um, um, about from here to Flagstaff, Arizona. Here. Oh man, that's tough. He lived in Arizona. For I did know. Hmm. 1600 miles that one's pretty easy actually i don't think that's easy. very easy about 1800 to phoenix from here 1657 wow yeah. dave. good <laughs> what the f- i was in logistics How did you do that? Yeah, that was great i was in logistics knowing a to b was my entire life all right last one atlanta from here no yes 600 miles hmm. 650 716. Pretty good. That was actually a bad one, too. I should have been closer on that one. It's okay. What I can about, usually get like 20. What about here to Minneapolis? It's not like, it's like 300 on the dot. 300 like, on the dot? Three, not on the dot, but it'll be. <laughs> what did you say? It's 400. Oh, no. KB, are you getting oh, mad right now? It's 150 no, to, it's 150 to Madison, and it's like mailed. another 150 to Minneapolis, oh, I thought. No, no it's not. Damn. Look how close yeah. Madison is. Oh. 150. You got yeah. that. All right, you're back. You're back. So you're I, back. That's what I was doing. I was just doubling it. Miami what? to Austin. Oh. That's a tough one. Down Route 10, I believe, through Jacksonville, you would take Miami. Um, I don't. To Austin, Texas, you said? Mm-hmm. About 1,700. I don't think that's enough. That feels like, that feels like oh, too much. Yeah. 1,400. Yeah. Yeah. Overs all day today. Did you guys ever see the map where they, and this is really dumb to like not even realize this, but that all the highways n- are numbered like sequentially up. 10, 20, 30, yeah. 40, yeah. That, was, yeah. that made me feel really And dumb. east to west as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that made me feel really stupid. <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, oh, yeah, that does <laughs> make cool. sense. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Um, okay, thank you, Dave. Thanks, Dave. I'm excited. Yeah, look, there, look at this map. Uh, see? Yeah. What the fuck? 5, 15, 25, 35. 45, 55. Mm-hmm. Well, 45. I did not know that. And then, the, yeah, wow. and then it goes 10 to 90 up yeah. top. Isn't that crazy? Wow. That's a really dumb thing that made me feel really dumb. Yeah, I mean, no we would have, yeah, we, we needed a system to number these things. Right, right so but like, I just, yeah. I never even, it never even dawned I always on thought them. they were so random. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 whatever yeah, number wasn't Smacked taken. a number on yeah. And then the auxiliary highways, the one that are three digits, just means that the last two are the interstate it comes off of. They Wait, merged. They lost me. Yeah. yeah. So like, explain first, that on right? a map. <laughs> yeah, that's, I explained it poorly. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So right. you know the three-digit highways. Yeah. 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 That is an auxiliary highway that connects the same interstate, yeah. and the last two digits of that three-digit interstate number are the interstate that it connects. So you're driving on 90, and then you get to like O'Hare. It's like was 290. it 190 or two yeah, 290? 290, 290, 290 yeah. is okay, the sense. circle around it's 290. Yeah, around 190, mm-hmm. or around 90, I mean. Damn, the more you learn. Hmm. Yeah. This shit is good. There All right, go. well, thank you, Dave. Good luck thank this weekend. Thank you, job, Dave. Remind them about the stream. I think I told everyone. Uh, by the way, November 8th, Barstool Invitational. You get ready for a college basketball experience like no other. Barstool Sports Invitational is back again on Wednesday, November 8th. This time at Wintrust Arena in Chicago. Check us out. We have Brandon Walker versus... Bobby Hurley, yep. Arizona State, Mississippi State is the second game. The first game is Loyola Chicago versus FAU. Mm-hmm. It's going to be awesome. What a matchup of mid-majors that is. Everyone's going to be there. We're going to do yak basketball, I assume. Oh. Uh, yeah, we have to. Can't we think have. of something. What'd they say? They said in the planning phase that they want us to do something 
but maybe not yak basketball. Oh, Whoa. Brandon off the trampoline. No. What could we do? Dog mouse bombs? traps. I think mouse traps. Yeah. I think oh, we yeah, mouse tra- with, with mouse traps. traps. Yeah. With mouse traps. Yeah. With mouse traps. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't think. I think they were looking for something less complicated. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like uh, knockout. What if we all did a dunk contest off the trampolines? We could play backboard dodgeball. Was that? Yeah, uh, it's like dodgeball where backboards. Well, yeah. We'll just play dodgeball. Yeah, you play dodgeball and then we could I, just play dodgeball. dodgeball could be fun. <laughs> and then you uh and then once you're out, you stand on the sideline and they get someone back in, you have to hit the backboard with the dodgeball and then the guy get the guy the guy that's out on your team gets back in. What if we played the egg game? In Seems like it would be right. dangerous for people sitting in the first two or three rows. <laughs> My dad gets hit square in, the, in between the eyes. Well, that would be funny. That great. Right. <laughs> okay, so we need something less complicated. I think they were like nobody in the arena or, understood it. They well, were it like, comp- yeah, many people were very confused. By but what it was, was just happening. basketball. Well, we, well, we're, <laughs> we're so bad. I play it. I'm right. confused. It was hard to shoot on camera. It was hard to sell. Whatever. Who are these people? Like, where where are these comments? Can I? No, this was like thumb a, through a directive them. Directive from sales. Uh, directive. What could be simple? Right, so we just play knockout. Follow. Knockout with knockout. like a, yeah, people from the audience or something. And I, I think the the dunk contest off the trampoline. What if Kate won? Like that would be incredible. Too. What if we had two teams relay race? Because those are pretty easy to follow. Like layups? Yeah, where it's like, you know, you have to go in and out of cones and uh, stuff. Or you have to do like a layup, a free throw, a three-pointer, and a half Yeah. Shot. Yeah, that would be pretty easy to follow. We'll do something. We'll be there. Okay. I'm excited. Mark and Brandon are doing something mm-hmm. before and potentially during. We are. We're hosting the that? pregame and the midgame and all that. What are we doing? Pregame. Pre-game stuff. I think Nick and KB should try and record an episode of Anus during the game. Yeah, we yeah. talked to Mark. Yeah. Mark pitched that to us. It would be funny uh, if we recorded just an episode, no guests, just us talking, but with the sounds of the game, and then the only audio would, uh, the only video would be like from whenever we're caught in the background of the game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or I can go go up to like the nosebleed. Oh yeah, that'll be awesome. Catch that angle, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, my man. We got the tech for it. <laughs> So if you see us there recording, don't fuck with us. <laughs> We're working. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. Hmm. What else we got going on? Hmm. I guess I'll be in Columbia forever. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Are you sharing a hotel room, dude? At the probably. <laughs> yeah. Sharing a bed. Yeah. That's what I heard. What is Stephen doing on his off days? What is the best flavor filling in cake? <laughs> what? Just Flavor cake, flavor. chocolate. Filling. What fruit skin is the best and worst what to fruit eat? Fruit skin. Skin. It, what fruit skin? What skin is? What skin do you even eat? Apple. Peach. Oh. Mango. Okay. Well, well, you, 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 you think banana? Well, I don't. You don't eat mango. Orange. So peach, uh, banana, no. orange, pineapple. Peach. What is he? What doing? fruit skin? skin. Is he dying? Oh, peach, yeah. plum, pear, pear. <laughs> What? Pear, yeah, you're right. Because it's so compact, right. it's, it doesn't bother you. Pear might be right. What about cherry? Oh, if that counts, then cherry. Yeah. yeah. Why wouldn't does it? cherry even have Sweet skin? Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, what, is that a skin? I don't even know. I don't be knowing. You guys Halloween guys? I'm not. I am with kids. It you Back to it Halloween. Makes, yeah. I wasn't for a long time. Yeah. My son has brought up Halloween every day for the last, like, three weeks. I like consuming yeah, I'm not. it. Yeah, like, I like the idea. I like watching people dress up, seeing the pictures. Yeah, but not participating. Not no. I had to explain to him the concept of the fact that like we're going to have candy and we're going to give it out and then he can go and get candy from other places. He's like, I don't want to give our candy away. He's like, why don't... <laughs> He's like, Dad... He's like, no, no, we're going to get more candy. Dad, why don't you just buy the candy and we just don't participate? <laughs> yeah, we have this candy. And we have it. <laughs> He's like, why are we giving away the candy? Why don't we just stay at home and just get candy? <laughs> It really is a great point. Yeah, no, he, he <laughs> kind of had me. I'm going to buy this $100 worth of candy, put it in these bowls, and then we're going to go try to find some candy. Yeah. yeah. You're anti-Halloween, though. I'm not anti-Halloween. I just don't I, I don't. I don't get into it, really. <laughs> Sounds... it, it's a religious thing, right? You don't like I just never got Satan. into it. Are you a fun size bar house or a king size? I think I'm going to have to be. You have to be. You king. have what to is be a, a step size. above king size. I think I'm giving be... out money. I think. Well, I think no, what I'm going to do they, is... The kids want the sugar. I'm going to do king size, and also I'm going to go to the casino and get a bunch of futures. 
<laughs> you put <laughs> like five dollar futures. Yeah. Oh, that's so that's awesome. That's amazing. That would be oh. so sick, right? Some long shots. Oh, some fuck! I got the you know, six year old in a Buzz Lightyear custing. Yeah. yeah. When's the, get the whole neighborhood oh, addicted to gambling? Yeah. Amazingly yeah. fun. Yeah. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna hand out futures. Just, just, do, really just get wow. every NFL team. Dude, I got yeah. bills for like twenty bucks each. Twelve hundred. Yeah, and just hand them out. You're going to have, like, old men trick-or-treating at your house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah true. You'd, you'd also be like, skip that house. He gave me Utah Jazz last <laughs> <laughs> I love handing out futures. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm yeah. going to do that. I used to do that for Thanksgiving. I used to get just, like, $200 of scratch tickets and just oh, yeah. out to everyone. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's fun. That's going to be like the next epidemic. Instead of like razors and the candy, it's going to be like, yeah, this guy got my son addicted to betting. <laughs> yeah, that's the only part. I have to probably not give it to the kids. Yeah. What are the bars that have like the pool tab things? What are those? Uh, pool tabs? I don't know what those are. What is yeah, it? they're like, they're basically like little lottery tickets. They, a lot, uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin has them. Yeah. They're so much fun. I waste so much. What time. is it? What, what? I know. It's like seen a, pool it's a tabs? West thing, I think. No. Yeah, it's it's mostly Wisconsin, Minnesota. Um, it's like you can find them, find a picture of them. It's like basically like a sl it looks like a slot machine, and then you pull it and you can win. So you buy like you can buy them. They're like two bucks, and the bar has hundreds and hundreds of them. And you so can, it's just a lottery ticket. Yeah, but if you, you're but just you just a scratcher, you just pull them, and then if you win, you get the cash right away. But what? I, I, I'm just confused as how is this different than just buying scratchers at a well, gas station. You don't have to scratch them, Titus. You don't no, have to scra oh, you pull them. Pull I, them got it, I got it. I got it. You're sitting at the like bar. Yeah. That's There's, fine. You seem to think they're like scratchers. Scratchers. You're not scratching no, you anything. Scratch no, no, no. Because oh. with a scratcher, you buy it, you scratch it. If you win right. money, you just hand it over. But this one, money. you don't scratch. This one, you don't. Imagine you ask for a back scratch, and then I start pooling your back. Oh, wait. That's not the same. They're very fun. The bar we did the live show in Minnesota, uh, Cowboy Jacks for the Super Bowl. I think I lost like a couple thousand dollars Holy that week that week because I was just buying them. It's a gr it's also Titus. It's a very like addicting. Like you just rip them, just, yeah. put them in a bucket. You're almost you like not even you're not friend, even looking at whether you won. You're oh shit! Gotta... I got a ten dollar, and then you put it in the yeah. pile. Yeah. Just do it for for hours. Who who's giving the money away? Like who's sponsoring? The bar. The bar. Okay. Like, the bar buys a bunch of pull tabs, and I'm so stupid. I was like, if I buy all the pull tabs, I'll eventually be a winner, right? <laughs> so and do you have like, to... Wait a second. The bar has to make money the in this. bar is... Yeah, I don't want to narc on these bars, but do you have to have, like, a gambling license to do this? Like, because no. what... I remember, like, my galaxy brain idea when I was in junior high, when I would go to, like, the high school football games, and they do the 50-50, and I was like... Why don't I just do a 50 50 my like at school where right. I just like yeah. <laughs> sell tickets to <laughs> kids in my class and then you know it, keep keep half of it and then give the other it. half to someone who wins and then I was like yeah why don't people do that just like why isn't there a yak 50 50 but I'm sure there's like a gambling license right yak 50 50 but what, what like you can't stopping you from doing that on your own yeah well I think people would find out and they'd be like wait are you giving this don't, don't you have to have some sort of license to Probably, yeah. And if you don't, then why why do we as a company not do that? It feels like a very easy way to make a lot of money. It's just like... I think yeah. it has to be regulated. Go to an event and just do your own. Right? Yeah, it has 50, to be regulated. It's because it's a charity thing. Yeah, right. It's 50, but they heavily regulate that. Like, they don't... You can't just start selling 50-50 tickets. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, do these bars have to, like, jump through hoops? Or is it just like... I think it's a state law thing. It's just like, fuck it, let's sell some tabs and hope we don't get caught. Yeah, I had a friend who used to work for the Cubs, and he he ran the 50-50, and I was like, huh? He's like, no, dude. <laughs> He's like, you can't know. Have I'm you ever won a 50-50? No. What? And I've, oh. I'm Any type of sweet Dude, thing. I won. No, dude, that's the whole thing. I won one I'm, at a... <laughs> I'm literally, if I win a 50-50, I might, depending on how big it is, I may be even for my life. I won I one win. I won one time at a high school football game in Ohio. Um, and Which, the, which high school's? Oh, you're Darby. Do you know their mascot? Powerhouse. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh yes, I just, ca I just came. <laughs> yeah. Hilliard has two. Tell you, all right, Darby. Well, yeah. Um, Davidson Darby was it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and <laughs> <laughs> correct. Um, and I I win, and 
it was pointed out to me that one of my neighbors had a, a kid on the team. So like I was there to watch the kid, whatever. I'm just trying to be a part of the community. And as I win, they, they inform me that it's customary at the school to like, just give them, they're like, just give them money because all the money goes to like the athletic department or something. They're like, we don't actually keep the money. It's like all to, you know, it goes back to the kids. And I was like, I don't. Yeah. If I would have known this, I would have, I would have bought the fucking ticket. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I gave half, which I felt like what I feel I gave half of the half. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, that but I also I felt like I felt that. like I don't know. I felt like Larry. I felt like a Larry David situation where like everyone's looking at me like do the right thing, and I'm yeah. like the right. I won. I won the fucking pot. Yeah. I would have taken all of it. I know it was. It's difficult. To, the same thing know, happened to Will in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, did it? Yeah. At the Toledo Bowling Green game this past year that we went to, I did the math and I owned fifteen percent of the pot. <laughs> that's a, that's, an, that's a college and division I, one. Yeah, game. I yeah. didn't. I didn't win. I had so many tickets; it was crazy. But if Did you they, think about how much money you spent on, yeah, you spent a, an absurd amount of money, right, on the on the pot or, or on yeah, tickets, yeah, yeah. And to only you only bought a fifteen percent chance to win, right? Wow, that's not great, Brandon. You should be like the Zach Hample of fifty fifties, where you just like yeah. go to all these high school yeah, football yeah, games yeah. and you yeah. try to win at every high school football game. You. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll, I'll win. Find the find the smallest pot of fifty fifty. Go to like junior high volleyball matches. Yeah. Win when fifteen bucks. Off. Yeah, try to win fifteen <laughs> bucks. <laughs> what happened to Will when he? So he was at the country club, yeah. uh, and and he had a friend, a little ten year old friend that was hanging out with him that wanted basketball shoes but couldn't afford them. So Will was going to keep the money, and and Phil got mad. Oh, he got mad as hell. He was embarrassed that his nephew was going to keep the money, and turns out Will was buying the kid basketball shoes so he could be the future oh. of, of basketball. Plot yeah. twist. Mm -hmm. Will was a decent kid, but sometimes he would be misguided. Yeah. But he figured it out. I'm one of fifty fifty one time. I had a one time. Uh, there was like a bunch of dudes sitting behind me in the bleachers at a Cubs game, and they bought their tickets right after me, and they won. Oh, oh. right in my face! Now, did they? Is it still reading out a bunch of numbers? What do you mean? It's like sequential. So they bought the winning ticket right after I bought my ticket. I don't like how you can tell immediately that you lost. Oh, like when, wait, when do you they have do that? Yeah, they read the numbers out, and you have to match your. Yeah, they they yeah. put it up on the jumbotron okay. in the seventh inning, and uh, yeah, I'll instantly be out. Like, cause it'll be like. Nine four and I'd be like I have four hundred dollars of tickets and I don't have a single nine. Oh, mm. yeah, that's a, that's a brutal one. That one sucks. Someday, maybe. it's gonna be a great day. Probably not though. No, yeah. you. I mean, maybe. I mean, you sound like a quitter. I'm not a quitter. You sound like a quitter. I spent two hundred dollars on one just so I could tweet out that I did one like you, and I felt like an asshole when I lost. <sighs> yeah, it's very demoralizing. Uh. Because every time I'm like, this is the day. This is the day it's going to happen. I hate when the person who wins isn't happy enough. Yeah. yeah. Not Those yeah. crowded Wrigley games, what do they get up to? They're in like the 30s. Um, the full pot or the half yeah, pot? Yeah, the full pot. Maybe, maybe even 40s sometimes. Jeez. The the hockey game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> the Canadian hockey games, like playoff, like Edmonton Oilers, those get up to like 300,000. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, those are insane. We gotta go to Canadian hockey game. I know. Yeah. yeah. I know. I want to go to hockey this year a lot. I have season tickets. I know. What? I'm the Blackhawks gonna be good. They, yeah, I, they know they, the I know they got Bedard, but like, dude, yeah. but is it like the team's gonna actually be good, or is Probably it just not. gonna be putting up insane but it stats? Yeah. Their team of the future. Team of the future. Have any of you been to a Canadian NHL game? No. Mm -mm. I haven't been is to it Canada. That much better? Or is it a little better? Same. Well, the garden was pretty good in New York. I, I can't imagine it Those being too much better. Uh, I guess. Who has the, the, the craziest games? Like Toronto? On on TV, Calgary's got crazy ones, right? Is it Calgary? No. Calgary's right. stadium looks Edmonton. so sick. They got the Saddle Dome. Saddle Dome. Right? Yeah. 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 Edmonton. Yeah, I mean, they all go pretty crazy. Every hockey stadium the when they're north good. of like St. Louis gets crazy in, in the playoffs. Like when you watch, if Phoenix were in the playoffs, it wouldn't it wouldn't look crazy. I guess Vegas looked crazy though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, that spear's been looking oh, crazy. Dude. Oh, the Vegas. That is oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, is there one in New York now? There's a sphere in New York? I don't no. think so. I think that's I just flood water. In London. I thought there was a U2 concert. Where was that? That was in Vegas. Was Vegas. Oh, it's the MSG yeah. sphere. The sphere. Yeah. That's right. They're duplicating it and putting one in London. Yeah, I think it was what, $400,000 to advertise for a week? 
I think it was like big a big fifty fifty. Yeah. Are all the images that we see of the spear online real? Like I saw one. Yeah, it seems fake. I saw one today where the sphere was like a, a happy face, like a yellow happy face. Yeah, that, that one. I think it's real. all real. Yeah. yeah. But I, it could be. It would be easier for somebody to just like video, to like Photoshop it to where it shows something that they're not really showing. That I mean, that is insane. Right. The visuals oh. from the U2 concert did look insane. Yeah, yeah, that was high, and that's why I quit weed. KB, you having Molly flashbacks right now? I would yeah. take Molly to just watch the video on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad call. Yeah, this looks awesome. Yeah, imagine like a... Imagine cold. This is just, it's a building. What? It's a sphere, dude. No, before, I mean, the, the first couple of shots were just, it's a building. Here's a concession stand. The one where they're just somewhere else, yeah. Yeah, this was the one that yep, gets crazy. That would freak me yeah. the hell out. Yeah, it looks That'd like a be... panic attack. <laughs> I'm all Is, in on are, that. are there, like, scheduled concerts for this? Yeah, you do. Do they have any others? Who's like, next? They have this dude this. doing, uh, doing like a life yak live show. Yak live. Oh, <laughs> we should talk to them about it. In it's this a giant mousetrap that <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, mm-hmm. snatches all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Is it interactive? Like if uh, if we went wet on the wheel, would the whole place rain down? Would the sphere rain down water? Because I would <laughs> like that. That'd, That'd be, be awesome. Like so cool. wet. Joel there. Osteen needs to do something. That <laughs> <laughs> fill that thing up. Oh Joel yeah. Joel Osteen. Yeah. Oh, the guy who uh, the preacher didn't the let anyone into his church. Mega church mm-hmm. man. Well, he just got. Well, it was. I mean, it was raining. Yeah, it was raining. It was raining. <laughs> yeah, he bought the old rockets. Compact center, yeah. Which is such a fucking baller move to buy an NBA old NBA arena. Mm-hmm. How much fun that would be! But he bought that to do church in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for the Lord. Yeah, and that was the big thing because <laughs> Houston was underwater, and he. Was it Irene? Was it, was it? It was it? Yeah. Irene? No, it was Harvey. Harvey. Yeah. Harvey. Harvey, and yeah, he he actually barred up, like chained up his door. Yeah, he's like, no thanks. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, people he's coming like, in there getting fucking arena, stepping dude. on the carpet and shit. We're a church, not a charity. <laughs> there were fucking <laughs> there were fucking sharks on. on the interstate. There were yeah. sharks in the interstate. That's a fact. Um. Okay, we good. I think we're gonna. I think we might. Take a break from student tomorrow. All right. Bring him back. Just kind of ease, you know, stuff yeah. like a moderation. He's a pitcher that you don't want to overuse. Yeah. Because he goes, he throws as hard as he can every pitch. Every pitch. Every pitch is 99. What happens when Stu and Mincy talk to each other? Because, like, those are the two people uniquely at this company that I think you could just say hello to and then just sit back and they just. Mm. Wait, who? fucking Stu crazy. Stu and Mincy. M- Mincy, I had yeah. a 30 minute conversation with Mincy when he was in Chicago. Didn't say a word to him. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm, yeah. We were trying to discover like the least you could do. Yeah. Stu I feel like Stu's. Like a word. Uh, I feel like Stu's that way too, where you're just like, oh, what's up, Stu? And then he just is like, blah, blah, blah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I want to put have, him and Mincy. Have them do a yak, yeah. just the two of them. Yeah. And see what oh, happens. Yeah. <laughs> just see what happens. Yeah. What happened? Oh. I don't what, know if what, that would work. I actually will do that when we get to the new office and Mincy moves here. We'll do a yak <laughs> where we can sit there, but we can't speak. Yeah. Yeah. Just watch. I would like that. Bring them both in, and then the audience would all know what's going on, which is like none of us are no, – no one's going to say a word. We can yeah. And then see how long you can go without anybody – One by one, Leah. Yeah. <laughs> I just one I got to go one to this. I got to go It might end in uh, fists, like a fight. <laughs> no, just it would end in Mintz just telling Stu his life story. But I don't think yeah. Stu would take it. Oh, I bet he would. You think? Yeah. Okay. The mints would win that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll see everyone tomorrow. Yak. Yeah. Hopefully I survived the night. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Good luck, brother. It's the yak. It's the yak. Get your straws, yak style. And stay for a while. It's the yak. It's the yak. It's the yak. Talk shop or do a Yankee swap is the act. It's the act. See you tomorrow. Bye.